hello guys welcome to our channel in this session we are going to see how to create an issues so let's start on the left hand side you can see the issues just click on it and click on the new issues button here you can see it's asking for a title, type, description, assignees, due date, milestone, labels, and create issue. So first of all, we have to write a particular title here. So let's give a title like GitLab 1.1. .1. And for an example, just we'll write here, deploy Node.js application using AWS server so this is my for creating a new issues in the type section you can see there are two type issue and incident you have to select issue because this is the issue we are creating here in the description box you have to provide a short description related to this story so suppose we can provide deploying creating node.js application using dot gitlab ci dot yaml and deploy using aws server just enter it this is the content of the story the next you have to provide an urls so url related to node.js application or aws server if you don't have an idea about the aws server or node.js application we can give an urls here urls related to node.js or AWS server next next we have to write here the acceptance criteria under the checkbox so let's paste here the acceptance criteria suppose this is an acceptance criteria I'm cloning the code from this repository this is a github repository not a gitlab repository because code which I found in the github it's a node.js realtime app dot git so what will happen here here will clone this repository then after that creating a dot gitlab ci dot yaml file in this project after that deploying on the aws server node.js application deploy on aws server then after that validate validate application is working or not so this is not required so this is a small acceptance criteria you can click on the preview and you can see how it looks like this you can edit as well using these stars or bold see acceptance criteria let's scroll down and you can see this issue is confidential and should only be visible to team member with at least reporter IC. So this issue is confidential. If you check this, it will be confidential to only with your team members. And if you uncheck, anybody can see this issue. In the assignees, assignees like currently I am working on it, so I'll assign to myself. Due date. If I want to provide a due date, suppose. 31st Jan before 31st Jan I want to complete this activity milestones so there is no milestone here available labels so labels what kind of label is there so this is a pipeline label infrastructure label so two kind of label I can assign because this is gitlab ci.yaml is a pipeline and infrastructure ec2 is a web server just scroll down just click on the create issue you can see here 
issue has been created on the right side you can see assignees you can add more assignees here as well if your team mates having they wants to work with you you can assign with you as well next labels we have already defined the labels then milestones weightage weightage means uh, we want to give the weightage like this is a priority stories so we can give the weightage here due date is there time tracking there is no estimate and confidential there is no confidential because we are uncheck this confidential only one participant is here in this if you scroll down you can see here the write a comment or drag your files here so while working on it you can put and clone github repo from above url then next what activity is going on you can mention here and you can just comment here then it will be track here like this you can see clone github repo from above url so clone github repo from above url just scroll up and also you can you can mention here while you have started work on it you can give a label like doing so now it's showing here and doing also it's displaying here added doing label just now then also now you have clone github repo from abu url you can check here now cloning is done also it's displaying here mark the checklist item as clone code the next activity what's the next next activity create dot gitlab ci dot ml if you create a gitlab dot gitlab ci dot ml file you can you created yaml file and implementing code you can comment like this now your code has been done code complete completed you can put and comment and you can check now create a gitlab the next one node this application deploy on aws server then you have to configure those things in the aws server then after that you can comment like a uh, aws created ec2 instance and deployed node.js application like this you can comment and you can check this only now this looks good then after that verify node.js application is working fine you can comment and you can mark this check validated application is working away now it's working now everything is looks good now also one more thing let's create one duplicate tab here this story you can check under the issues board as well so in the left hand side you can see under the plan issue board is there so you can see there is a one story showing deploy node.js application using aws server now it's in doing stage so we have added this label here but still it's showing open so you here we can create a list here like i want to give the list for the doing add board now doing it showing when i am applying the doing now it will come here then again i'll create a list for block suppose in case the story wants to block suppose server issue or anything or it will take some time in that case we can move the story to block directly like this so currently we don't want to move then after that we can create a list for po review code review add to board yeah 
so now store it showing under the doing stage just click on it and now store is working fine we can remove this doing click on edit and move to code review just add the code review here and you can refresh this so you can see it's been moved to code review list so this is the code review it's showing now it's a uh, our uh, story it's working fine and other members can review the code our manager can review the code as well as review the story and the key can close it what he will do he will review now everything is looks good he will check all the comments and everything and here he can choose close issue now issue has been closed you can check just go back on the right side the issue has been closed so like this is the way we can create an issue we can add and labels we can create a list we can move from one list to another list like open doing block code review and close i hope guys you understood the flow how to create an issue and how to work on it thank you guys thank you for watching